Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with my October subscription box from DEK Designs and you can find the address listed below. It is dekdesigns.com in the information section plus a 20% off coupon. So, help yourself. Alright friends, I am super excited. I am loving this particular box. I have pulled out this washi for this planner plus a lot of my goodies here. So, and yeah there we go i got some of that planned last week and i didn't on a lot of it it was the last week and this week are going to be crazy so anyways i'm working on it i'm working on it i'm working on it okay so this is my sojo academy planner and of course i have it in my felicity jane binder and i love this binder i bought it scratch and dented so everybody who um oh there goes my phone and it's in the other room. That's all right. I'm hoping my daughter will hear it and go get it. Um, but I am really enjoying this planner. And I bought this planner on the Scratch and Dented. Because, yes, you know I'm cheap. So, and I think for this week, because I am not going to have as much time as I would like to do all the Sojo goodies. And Sojo Academy is a Christian women's group that um, you... There are Bible studies, there's all kinds of stuff that goes on. There's special speakers, there's craft projects, there's all this kind of good stuff. So, um, I really love AJ and Jen who head it up. And they are just very, very sweet. And they love the Lord, and they love women. And um, I believe both of their husbands are in ministry. So, um, one I know is a pastor's wife, and I think the other one is a... I don't know what her husband does. It may be missionary work. I'm not sure. So, um, but they, um, I believe one lives out in the mission field and one lives um, in um, Georgia. So, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure I really like those colors yet, but we'll see. Hmm. But I can doctor it up a little bit and add some of this in. And that kind of lightens it up, doesn't it? So... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's see what's on the back of that. Ooh, there's more of the blue. We'll go with that one. All right. So, anyways, I'm really into overlays today. I don't know why. I really don't. But I don't want to eat up that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this because I know I do not have time today and tomorrow for any of the sojo. So, I'm going to do that like that so I can just decorate with it. And then I'm just going to do this one like this. And then we kind of break up some of that green and gold. Um, and I'm just laying things out right now. Not saying I'm there yet. I'm just laying some things out. Okay. Oh, and that is Sunday, Monday. So let's do Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Which Sunday was too. Sunday was, ugh. We ended up, I ended up working on one return all day. <laughs> and then I had to wait till... I could call people to get information, and then I didn't realize that we weren't going to have, um, like, post offices open today, because it's Columbus Day, but that's okay. Honestly, I needed to just stay home, learn how to do Discord, which, if you guys are in the um, Bible Journaling Camp, we are going to have a live um, group chat on Discord, and it is not hard at all. So, I mean, it's weird, but I will send you the link and I will save you half of the time and trouble that I went through to get connected. And I learned about it through May May from May May Made It. So I am super excited about it. And it is, it's fun. I, I'm going to tell you right now, you can do video chat, you can just do talking chat, or you can type chat. I know. And we can set up different rooms within it and all kinds of stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But you have to be in the Fall Bible Journaling Camp. That's where it will go out for. So last Spring Summer Bible Journaling Camp, we were trying to figure out a live. I was going to try to do it by Zoom. People weren't really comfortable with that. Or they were confused by it. But Discord is something we can set up for a long time and use it. And I'm really excited about it. So... Okay, so I've got those. I know. What am I going to do with them? Well, I'm just going to put some cute little stickers on top and decorate them. So, I'm going to put this cake, even though it is for DEK's fifth birthday, I'm going to put that there to celebrate when we are finished. Yes, you heard me. 
when we are finished. Yay! So I'm going to put this little um, kind of tablet here because that's what I've been doing, doing some online training in between working and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, yes. And I've already said it in the other video. I'm going to spend Friday taking care of some of moi, which I need to do. And then I'm going to put this down here for Saturday and Sunday because we are going to be harvesting sweet potatoes. And Sunday is the following, so but we can put it there. I am super excited about that. Um, we are genuinely, genuinely, genuinely um, just trying to keep up without kind of going a little bonkers. And that's okay. You know, it's okay. So, all right, now... Friday's going to be my down day, so I'm going to put my cushy socks on. I'm going to put, get my little mirror out, do some, some rejuvenating that day, and that's what I'm going to do. Now, my prayer journal, I want to change that header, and I don't think I'm going to use any of those stickers, so I will take those. Well, I'll just put them back behind. And I'm not going to use this today, but I am going to use the dates so today, let's see, the 15th I know is Thursday. So I'm going to back, I'm going to go backwards with it if you don't mind. <laughs> I can only count backwards right now. I really am tired. I really, really am. I, uh, I don't know why such extreme fatigue, but um, we've had, I just guess, so much stuff going on maybe. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, we're hanging in there. It's all going to be good. It's all going to be fine. But it is just, it's a journey sometimes. Life is a journey, right? So, and just like with history, if we don't learn the lessons along the way, then we are doomed to repeat it. And I do not want to repeat this part of my life over. How about y'all? I want to move on. Move on down the road and get on with life. Get on with, you know, my husband and I are talking about retirement right now. Of course, I'm a retired teacher. Um... I retired when my youngest went to college because I've homeschooled for, I don't know, 28 years. Hold on one second, I can get a sip. And then I taught and administrated schools before then. So I feel really good that my life gets to slow down a little, Lord willing. <laughs> and the creek don't rise. But here, I'm going to put some of these headers up here. So I'm going to change prayer journal. I'm just going to put prayer. And I found this great app via a um, online workshop I went to yes, last night. And it is called, um, which I already had it, Version Bible. But she had suggested a Bible study and there's one on Ephesians. And I'm either starting it today or tomorrow. I've signed up for it so I'm super excited. And um, anyways and it's uh, on marriage and I think that's always a great thing so prayer and was that gratitude I think that's what that was <laughs> gee you think I should have paid attention okay and that is just a inner gel 0.5 um, and then this I think this was gratitude Thanksgiving and gratitude I changes around that's why I have to ask um, Study and worship. Oh, I'm wrong. So I'm going to put here Bible study. I know I kind of picked the wrong weekend to start things, but I'm okay with that, really. I mean, sometimes we just have to jump in and do it. You know what I mean? And I'm just going to put to-do here because I have it. And I don't want to have to... I just want to use some of these up. I know. You see, I always have tons of to-dos left, y'all. I know. I mean, I do make to-do lists. I do. I do, I do. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I really want to put down. Let me look through these one more time. She's cute. I think I'll wait and save her for the big day. And I am going to put payday down because that is always good to remember. Um, just because. Because, because. Um, yeah. We have to also pay tuition and all kinds of stuff. So, I'm excited to get that over with. <laughs> I 
I'm really excited to get that over with. I'm hoping to get some clothes folded and finish up my closet on Friday, but it's going to be a rejuvenation and relax day, so we will see. And then I do need to get an order in for hand soap. Um, I put one order in this morning, and it has hand soap in it, but my husband is like, that's not good. <laughs> I want this, and I said, okay. He really likes a certain soap that we get at Bath & Body Works, and the one we really like, they don't do anymore. Very disappointed. The one we loved is leaves. We love the candles. We have lots of candles, but we do not have the, um, the soaps anymore. I know there's some that smell kind of like it, but they're not quite there. And I don't know why they took it out. It was one of their most most popular versions. So, okay, I'm going to put that there just to make it look cute. And there goes my phone again. Hello. I'm going to put it down here. I don't think I'm going to put anything there. I think we're good. I could put a heart. Yeah, let's do that. Just to kind of give it some dimension. Yeah. Kind of shush it up a little, right? Okay. Now, um, my husband's job search continues on. And I've shared that with some of y'all. I think I've shared it here on the channel. Um, and we are good with whatever God has. And that's part of our discussions about retirement. If God doesn't open the door for a change in jobs, then he will just retire a little bit early. And that's okay. Uh, we will live like church mice, and we will be very, very, li li we'll be living lean, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, sometimes we just need to live lean. At least that's how I feel. So, hold on, I'm going to grab in here another one of the notepads and get that in there. Um, but, I mean, we are, we're good. You know, I mean, we are very thankful. We are happy with what God is doing, and... Um, he wants to buy land this morning. He brought it up and I was thinking how do we buy land and then retire? But um, I think he wants to do it as an investment and I'm okay with it. I'm not like yay. Let's do it <laughs> I've got to be honest <laughs> I'm a little nervous about it, but you know I Just think that right now it's a seller's market. It's not necessarily a buyer's market right now and his point is, but it's going to continue to go up, and that is true. I will give him, you know, credit for that, of course. But um, for me right now, I'm just not super, super sure, you know. So, okay, so I'm going to punch here, here, and here. And if you notice, I had to scoot that down a little bit so that I wouldn't have to punch down here. I only want to punch the three, if that makes any sense. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, but um, I thought we were going to buy land to move to, you know, as the city grows here, um, grows out to us here, which, you know, anybody who's a country bumpkin, you really don't like the city coming out to you. So, <laughs> which we're getting it. And, um, you know, you move here to not be in the city. And I did get that kind of close, but I'm okay with that. Now, see, if I had, like, cut it for here, it would have hit here and there. So, that's why I bumped this around so it would only hit those three. And that's it. Which, I'm sure you got that, but I just thought I would share what I was doing. I'm going to put my little pretty DEK design clip on. And I'm good. Um, my habit trackers I can fill out with you guys if you would like. So, for this, I need to work on water. Um, exercise and I am not taking my turmeric this week and I'm really stiff so guys please remember me in prayer for that I was talking to my husband this morning he goes why are you so stiff and I said well um, I'm trying because I had a pro I didn't okay I didn't tell you all this this weekend I took my vitamins and my night I have a few meds that I take at night and um, anyways it got caught in my throat and then it got caught all the way down and I had a friend who died from that. She burnt her whole um, kind of just esophageal and you know the tube and everything goes down into your tummy 
and I woke up with severe chest pain because it was right there behind the, you know, kind of the breastbone area. And I got up and I took an Nexium and because I knew immediately that I'd have to do something. And then, um, which Nexium just helps your body heal. And then um, I went and drank a ton of water. And then oddly enough, I got a pudding and it kind of helped whatever was not, had not gone down, it kind of helped push it on down. But, um, he and I were talking this morning and I said, well, I'm trying to cut back on the actual pills I take, you know, vitamins, supplements, things like that. I'd rather drink it either in a shake or in, um, you know, vitamin drinks, things like that. You know, we have vitamins we can add to our drinks and our water, things like that. And so anyways, and he said, yeah, he said, I get it. You know, I said, I just don't, I didn't, it was a frightening, it was a frightening thing. And he got up and he was like, came in the kitchen and said, like, what are you doing? What's wrong? You know, <laughs> so I was telling them, it's not good. Okay, so water, exercise, and I'm trying, and shakes. So in my shakes is where I add, um, you know, bits and stuff. And then also smoothies. So I'm looking to kind of interchange these out. So, and then also juicing. So all three of these, um... I really try to inter interchange those three out, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, and I'm not going to put Bible study down because I have that up here. And, of course, I have my day and night study. I just, And then I have my other study that I'm working on, but I wanted to add that one out of the U version. And you can just get the app. It's free. And they have all kinds of Bible studies on it. And I have had it forever. I just didn't know they had Bible studies on it. I don't know why. I get the daily verse. I don't know why. So, all right, friends. This is short and sweet. I hope you guys like this. This planner is so small and compact. And yes, I can print it large, but I don't want it large. Like if I go out and out and about, which I won't right now, but soon, um, this is the one I would take with me. Um, and guys, be in prayer because there looks to be some pot lots of different um, trials right now for potential um, cures for COVID. And, you know, my sister sent a picture today that they had a big birthday party for her father-in-law who turned 90. And I was just like, they're all there. None of them have a mask on. They're out somewhere to eat and they're all taking pictures. And we just haven't been there. We have not gone out. We've been very careful. We've stayed in, you know, even my husband, um, though he gets a little sort crazy, he's like, no, no, we have to stay in, we have to stay in, you know. So, uh, or at least I do. So, um, just be in prayer because I have a girlfriend who calls me about once a week and says, are we the only ones staying in? Cause she also has some health issues. And I said, no, I said, there's some of us and you know, we're just doing what our doctors are suggesting. That's all we can do. So, but be in prayer for us because it's, it's, it's not that, I mean, my granddaughter's birthday is next month, her first birthday. How do I not hold her on her first birthday? How do we not go to be with them on her first birthday? Um, it's just huge. It really is huge. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't even want to talk about it because I can, I can cry like that. But, um, our kids are totally exposed on these universities. As a matter of fact, there was a, a post that came from my daughter from Facebook of all the grad students that were made promises at their university and they, they were not protected at all. They were not even hardly talked to. They gave them as minimal protection and what protection they gave them, they were gonna have to share amongst themselves like face shields and stuff like that. It's just crazy. And um, I, I don't understand. I mean, I know grad students are called, you know, you know they're, they're lab slaves is what they call them. Um, but and it's a terrible statement. I hate that term. But um, these kids, they are just they just have to work and not ask questions. They are just to do it and get it done. And um, it it's caused my daughter to step out of the program, as well as for our granddaughter. Um, she still teaches at the university, but she's mastering out. She will not finish her PhD, and I'm very sad for her because I want her to have it. But they are really taking advantage of these kids and um, they are not keeping a balanced perspective and a lot of you guys know where she goes to school because I've shared it here 
but um, I really don't want to just call it out by name because I don't want to get her in trouble. But I'm just, at this point, I am very disappointed in our state-run schools. They have, re like our child that's doing school online, it is insane the amount of work she's doing online. It is a 50 to 60 to 70 hour week for her. I get that they want these kids to have great educations. It is wrong to make these kids. I mean, as an educator, as a um, you know person with multiple degrees, I would just tell you right now, um, I believe in academics, um, but I also believe there has to be balance. And in a time right now, I, I mean, I get it. For some kids, it gets their minds off of it. But for some kids, it completely stresses them out. And, I mean, my kids are doing okay with it, but um, it's just too much. It's too much. And our daughter who's teaching, um, it's too much. Even if she's home with the baby, they can't have a babysitter anymore because of COVID. And the university being so rampant with illness that, um, you know, she doesn't get the time that she needs to properly care for her child. And that's just wrong. It's just wrong. So if you guys have kiddos or nephews or nieces or, you know, um, or you work in a university system, please, please, because not everybody in the university system is young. You have people my age that go back to finish degrees um, or to get a degree. And um, these guys are at such risk. I mean, it's just crazy. And there's a student of my oldest daughter's who literally cornered her one day and would not keep the social distancing and told her to, told him to back it up. And he wouldn't do it. He'd take one step back, but he would not back up six feet, which was the rule for them to be in the class. So anyways, I know it kind of sounds like a Debbie Downer, but these things are happening to our teachers. They really are. I mean, I've got a son in a high school, um, kind of a college prep public school. It's a very unique program. Um, you know, everybody there has their PhD or masters that teach there. Um, I have my daughter-in-law who's on an elementary level, elementary middle school, and then um, public schools. And then our my daughter and son-in-law, my oldest daughter and son-in-law, they're on the collegiate level and. It is unacceptable, some of the things that these guys are having to go through, and I get it. There's a lot of people out. Um, I had a great discussion with a wonderful Christian friend that I know via um, kind of YouTube and other places, but anyways, we had a great conversation about, you know, um, what is political, what is not, you know, and I'm not going to get into that here at all, but because um, I refuse to do that, but she wanted to, and I just kind of took it back to Scripture, and I just left it there. And, uh, and so did she. She's a wonderful Christian woman, and I absolutely adore her. And I loved the conversation. I really did. And then I could take that conversation and share it with my husband and share it with my friends. And, you know, it was just one of those, I mean, we need to take the opportunity that as we're going through these different things, build our knowledge and our communication skills such that, you know, when God needs to stand up and say, hey, have you considered this? Or possibly we should work on this? Or so that we can be more effective in our delivery. What an opportunity that is. I mean, seriously, what an opportunity. So um, I always say I'm a preschool teacher with a preschool teacher mindset, and I am. I like to keep it very simple. Um, but, um, you know, we do have to be prepared to have conversations with people who are a little bit, you know, not quite preschool. And so it's just an opportunity to work out what we think and what we believe. So let's bloom where we're planted. Let's have those conversations. Let's be encouraging to those. Um, let's make sure that we are protecting those that are in high-risk areas or that are unable to protect themselves. Um, there's just a lot of that. And I've even seen on the news a lot of your special needs kiddos and young adults and even older adults, um, they need to have appointments and they can't they, they're at risk every time they go for a PT or an OT or speech therapy or anything else. And so that means either they're delayed or they're atrophying or they take a risk and get sick. I mean, I myself have multiple doctor's appointments I need to take, but it's not worth the risk right now. And, you know, one of them could be serious. It could not be. And I kind of think it's probably, hopefully not. And so that's, that's where I'm at. And I just think right now, you know, we all just need to focus and pray for those that we can encourage 
and um, find polite ways to have conversations and, you know, have courage and be kind. <laughs> I love this. Have courage and be kind. Because if we aren't, you know, if we don't have courage, you know, Ephesians 6, you know, um, stand firm, put on the armor of God and be kind. You know, John tells us we should love our enemies. Um, we have to understand what it is that God's calling us to. And as Christian believers, I think those are very, very um, focused attributes. And even though um, it may not be a part of the fruit of the Spirit, you know, courage, or, that may not be there, but we're told that when we're talking about the armor of God. So, you know, guys, we just have to understand, you know, Jesus was a, was meek in his service, not weak, like weak. He was meek. And that means, I mean, well, you know what? Look that, look that definition up. Seriously, that is a Bible study in and of itself. Look that definition up and then search it out in scripture and recognize he wasn't weak. He was meek. And it's a really good attribute that we should aspire to. Um, and I don't mean mousy. I don't mean like, you know, meek. I don't mean that. I mean like, look it up, you know, and, uh, so, anyways, all right, friends, I'm going to let you go. I know I've been just yak, 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 yak. Um, some of y'all have asked for a tour of my craft cottage, which will not happen for probably till next summer. Um, I will be honest. But if you would like a tour of my little space here, let me know. Leave a comment. And um, it's not perfect, but it is walkable now, and that is great. And my youngest daughter is supposed to help me with a couple of things that literally... Um, would I cannot do. I physically cannot do it. And once that's done, um, I can do a video in here if you guys would like. I don't know. And maybe I can use my new phone, Lord willing. Oh, and the creek don't rise. So, all right, friends, I'm going to let you go. I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Thanks for stopping by. I love being with you guys. I love chatting with you guys. And I cannot wait till we get Discord set up for the Fall Bible Journaling Camp. And then we can actually really talk and have like a chat room and all that kind of fun stuff. So, all right, friends, um, y'all be safe and, um, have a good evening. I'll be talking to y'all soon. Love you. Bye-bye.